Here is the combined uh, radiator fan, water care intercooler pump uh, controller, as well as the can display for the Mega Squirt. Uh, right now, the car is just an accessory position, so it has power, but there's nothing coming across can. Turn to ignition, and you can see these channels here are from the new sensors that were put in. But we'll scroll down, and we can see that. Engine speed zero, but we're reading the current map, intake temperature, various parameters that are coming through from the Mega Squirt. Now we're scrolling through all of these different options here using this little scroll wheel hidden down here in the ashtray. So that allows us to scroll between parameters. We can push down on that to select things. Got a bank of manual switches. And then the reset button and calibrate button for the LC1 wideband controller. So we'll go back to the display here where we can see it. Now pushing the button will bring you into the options or setup so we can manually change and set which display is being shown at any given time on the first or second line. And when you do it this way, then it gets stored in EEPROM. So every time you power off and power back on, that'll be what it defaults to. We can go through, and this shows the conditions when we turn on the intercooler pump, for example, when the temperature of the water coming out of the intercooler is over 35C, uh, when to turn fan low, uh, low speed on. That would be if the intercooler heat exchanger temperature is too hot, or if the engine out temperature is getting too hot, over 95. Turn on fan high if the engine out temperature is getting over 105. Um, da -da -da -da. A way to force each of the inputs on. So we can hold that down. Turn on the pump. You can hear it in the background. Turn it off. And then get back into options and setup, scroll through, and then we can change the color that's getting displayed for daytime or nighttime, as well as how bright things are for daytime or nighttime. So for example, for nighttime color, we'll say, go in here and say, uh, let's make it a nice blue color. I'm not going to leave it this way because this is going to look awful with the uh, orange interior color, but it is what it is. So we'll select that. Then when we turn on the headlight, oh, it detects that because it, the headlight interior light sources run to this, and so it changes over to the blue lighting. Turn the headlights back off, and it's back to orange. We can do the same thing with the brightness, going from completely white down to the color selected and then all the way down to uh, the backlight completely off. So anyway, this is an overview of the Arduino based uh, controller and can display built into the built into the car now. Best of all, the lid closes and can be hidden away.